Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Here's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. An eight-year-old girl and a man are being treated following a late-night shooting in Opalaka. It happened at Port Said Road near the Opalaka Airport. Police said the man was standing on a balcony when the shooting started. The eight-year-old girl was in her bedroom getting ready for bed, according to police. The two were rushed to the hospital. No word on their condition this morning. You're asked to call police with information. A group of mayors is hoping Governor Ron DeSantis does more to slow the spread of COVID-19. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelbert led the news conference, calling for the state to allow local mask mandates and add more testing sites. Mayors from Hialeah, Sunrise, and Miami Shores echoed similar feelings. No response yet from the governor's office. This comes as the U.S. reaches another grim milestone. More than a quarter million Americans have died from the coronavirus. And while new cases surge nationwide, President-elect Joe Biden told frontline health care workers that President Trump is blocking his transition team from getting up to speed on the crisis. And more than two weeks after Election Day, the president is refusing to concede to the election to Joe Biden. In Wisconsin, where Biden won by more than 20,000 votes, the Trump campaign has wired $3 million to fund a partial recount in the state's two largest counties. Both counties lean heavily Democratic. And that's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.